Hi, this is Adam Bin, and I would like to show you why EGB sim do simplify Java 6 development. I will start with uh, a simple Java 6 application with the name Great Simplification. And the application, I would like to use CDI, so I need Bins XML, and I would like to start with an EGB. And the EGB is just an ordinary class called Boundary. And this class resides in a package called Simplification. And this is an stateless EGB. What we also need is an entity, JPA entity, an entity, and this entity is an entity. So it needs an annotation with the name entity. And I would also need a persistence XML. I would just create that. And of course, at least one attribute. And this is an ID, generated value. So it will be auto incremented by the application server. And the boundary is able now to persist our entity, entity manager. I would like to inject the entity manager here and would create a method safe for this purpose and I will just merge use the method the call and the call merge which either saves or updates the entity so it's safe merge um, so what I also would like to do is to create a CDI manage bean as a presenter so I will implement the model so what model is a stereotype, which is named and request scoped at the same time. I would also like to create a method called save here. And this method returns an object. It will be bound to a button, JSF button. Return now. And I would like to inject our boundary. inject and of course should be return boundary save so and of course what we do do not have is a simple JSF page so we need it as well and I would like to introduce a very simple form and a button with the label save and the action, this is the, our save method in the presenter. So it's index, save. That's the action. Perfect. So it could work. So we just start the application. And what, what happens right now, the application is compiled and deployed to Glassfish. And after that, um, it's open in a browser. So I will just save the application. So nothing happened. But what we could try to, to do is to find the entity in the table. You see an entity seems to work, view data, and we have a single entry. So let's try it again, save. And you see we have two entries. So it seems to work. So let's try to simplify the application a bit. So what happens if we just try to get rid of, of the stateless EGB? Um, it should still work because then the boundary becomes just an ordinary CDI managed bean. So let's try that. Um, save. And what you see is um, transaction required exception was thrown because the entity manager cannot be um, executed without uh, transactions or certain methods of the entity manager cannot be executed in, uh, without a transaction. So we could, of course, uh, use the entity manager factory and uh, and uh, uh, control um, transactions manually. But the main question is why with a single annotation at stateless and the problem is solved. So it works. So enjoy EJBs with Java 6 and see you on upcoming conferences, workshops or projects. Okay, enjoy hacking. Thank you.